Hi, my name is Dave Stanchu, and we're at Dan Kane Chevrolet GMC Cadillac in Windsor, Ontario, and I'm going to show you the 2014 Sierra. Come on around this way. 14 Sierra has got an all new redesigned look. For starters in the front, you get a one piece chrome bumper, a newly redesigned grille, and a power dome hood that stands about an inch taller than the previous model. In the front here, the lights, you've got signature LEDs give the truck great, greater visibility. You've also got halogen fog lights down here, and you've got a projector beam headlight that actually operates as a high beam and a low beam with one ball that actually changes the focus of the beam to give you a tighter beam. Um, under the hood, we've got three new Ecotec engines. Actually, I should point out too that that's a really nice light hood. Um, Chevrolet and, and GMC models have uh, three new Ecotec engines. There's a 4.3 that puts out 285 horsepower and 305 foot-pounds of torque. There's a 5.3 that puts out 355 horsepower and 383 foot-pounds of torque. And a 6.2 that puts out 420 horsepower and 450 foot-pounds of torque. Um, really cool engines. Some neat technology going on here. One of the things is called direct injection and that actually uh, injects fuel directly into the combustion chamber which allows the engine to use less fuel. Uh, and burn it much more efficiently. You've also got uh, variable valve timing, which is uh, a technology where the engine will actually shift the camshaft over highway speeds to allow it to use a different set of lobes, and that allows it to operate even more efficiently there. Um, it also has active fuel management, where the engine is actually intelligent enough to know when it can disable cylinders and allow you to run on six or four cylinders and uh, save fuel that way, even better fuel economy. Um, also. They've done a lot of things to make the engine more quiet. Uh, there's some quilting on the inside of the hood here, which is uh, really useful on the firewall too. They've also um, put the uh, fuel pump in the valley of the engine, so it's, uh, it's underneath there to uh, you know, make it a lot more quiet. Well, on the side. First thing I'll point out some cosmetic features. Uh, there's a nice wheel arch molding here. It's good for uh, protecting for stone chips. You got a nice chrome belt line down the side of the vehicle. Makes it look real nice, and there's like some stone chip protector down here in the paint. It's also really good. Uh, you got some nice chrome accents on the mirrors and the door handles. Uh, but uh, more towards the architecture of the vehicle, you've got uh, a, the B pillar here has been moved four inches forward, which allows for greater room for the rear passenger, um, gives them greater leg swing in and out of the vehicle. And you've got larger doors on this model than the previous model, which makes it easier to get in and out of. Also, on the extended cab version, the rear door actually opens uh, forward like a normal door instead of backwards like the previous model. Uh, owners of the extended cabs will remember we had to open the front door to get the back door open. Well, that's gone now. You can just open it normal like a regular door. Um, moving further down this way, you got uh, standard uh, art, um, covers here on the uh, top of the bed for protecting the paint. Um, further down on the back, some more features you got. Uh, you've got a, a step here to allow you to ingress and egress the truck, uh, which makes it uh, fairly easy to stand up and get down. And it's a lot less complicated than the uh, monstrosity that Ford has on their pickup truck. They've got some contraption that comes out of the bed, and uh, I've seen them going down the road where they're actually broken and they won't fit back into the bed and close properly. So you see them sticking up all over the place. and It's, it's just horribly complicated, and this is much simpler, much cleaner design, and just simply works better. Um, coming back to our bed, or uh, tailgate, when you open it, there's a rotary damping spring inside that allows the, the uh, tailgate to come down nice and smooth by itself. You also have a torsion bar inside it that allows you to lift it very easily. It's not very heavy, at least it feels like it's not very heavy, and goes up very simply. Uh, you have a reverse camera mounted here, which is mounted in the center of the vehicle now instead of on the side over here, which uh, is a lot better for when you're backing up to a trailer. It gives you a, a much more true line of sight. Uh, you have your uh, trailer door connections down here, blade style and plug. Um, another important thing to point out when I'm back here is the uh, Z71 off-road package, which gives you uh, larger tires, uh, hill descent control, jounce bumpers, uh, skid plate, and a more high capacity air filter. Uh, it's just a great package for those of you who are interested in doing any off-roading. Great, great addition to the vehicle, makes the vehicle perfect for off-roading. Uh, also, I wanted to point out too, under the under the bed rails here, you can get optional LEDs, 
that actually will illuminate your cargo. So if you have a tunnel cover on the top of your truck, you're going to have LEDs mounted inside here. This vehicle does have them, and those LEDs will illuminate all the cargo inside the bed. And uh, you know, at night when you're uh, moving things around, it'll just be a lot easier to see. Um, another good thing to point out too is the tie downs. Um, on trucks that don't have a bed liner in them, there are nine different positioned uh, tie down slots inside the bed, and the truck comes with four movable tie downs that you can put into those slots. And each slot, uh, each uh, each tie down will hold up to 250 pounds of pressure. So that's a nice little uh, adjustment there. You can put some stuff on the side. Okay, back over here. 17 inch wheels are standard on these trucks, but if you get the uh, Z71 package, you can get 18 inch wheels. And on the Denali and SLE and SLT models, you can actually go up to 20 inch. Um, the brakes, all four wheels have disc brakes now, and the, the brakes are all uh, Furtick nitrocarbonized, which is a process where they bake the uh, rotors in a big oven and pump nitrogen into them, which actually, uh, the, the nitrogen bonds with the rotors and it ends up uh, creating a, a situation where the rotor doesn't corrode as easily, you get much longer wear out of it. Um, you've also got uh, retuned leaf springs underneath in the suspension, and uh, there's hydraulic shear body mounts, which is a really cool technology. Um, it's kind of like the body mount is a little uh, puck, and inside the puck there's a web design, and inside those webbings there is a liquid gel that actually uh, helps to cushion the body, and it uh, bounces around and it stops it from moving side to side and up and down as much. It's actually a really neat thing, really cool technology. Um, Moving down to the driver's side, I guess I'll tell you about the back seat. The back seat is a 60-40 split and folds up. It's very very easy to fold it up. You just grab it and lift. Folds up, giving you a ton more cargo space. Uh, there's also additional foot space for the passengers back here underneath the seats, which is really good. And there's an indentation. There's an indentation in the uh, headliner. Um, that allows for taller passengers to sit comfortably. Also, it's a good thing for me to point out too that there's actually uh, a retractable window in the back that now has a defroster in it. Um, previously, you couldn't get a defroster, defroster in there, and now you can. So that one was defrosted. Um, there's also LED dome lights inside the truck, which is a neat feature. They look very small, but at night they're extremely bright. Back on the front. If you look inside, um, you can see that there's a, a six gauge uh, dash dash panel and you actually have a color uh, driver information center in the center. Um, and that's, you know, gives you all your uh, oil life monitor and all that kind of stuff, uh, tire pressure sensor. Um, this truck here has an eight inch screen, but um, on a base model, you can get a 4.2 inch screen and telelink stereo. Um, you've got amb nice red ambient lighting inside here. Um, all the buttons are bigger, there's, you know, soft touch buttons. Um, this particular truck has a lot of options. So you have your hill descent control and your park assist sensors, work light, traction control, and your optional moving brake pedals. Um, down here in the cargo container, you have 120, 212 volts, three USBs in this compartment alone. There's also two more USBs and a card slot reader up here and an auxiliary an auxiliary jack so the truck is very well equipped for people using it as an office or those of you who want to you know apply entertainment systems or charge laptops or whatever while you're on the go um, these drink holders are actually removable you can actually move up to the front position if you want um, there's tr uh, slots here for an ipad or iphones or whatever cell phone you have to fit in here comfortably and there's a channel along the side of the cargo bin where you can thread your power cord through there so you run it from the usb to your device without having the power cord hanging all over the place, um, which is a really nice feature. Um, you've got you know gigantic cargo capacity in here. Um, over here, there's a, a double uh, double glove box, which is really nice. You can hold quite a bit of gear in there. And you've also got larger storage compartments in the doors. You can put water bottles in the uh, there's bottle holders and map pockets. There's even a map pocket on the side of the uh, center console here as well. It's just a, it's a great truck, it's you know, really been well redesigned. There's lots of headroom for everybody. And uh, I think that GM's really hit a home run with this. One of the other things I did want to mention too was that uh, this truck actually um, beats the Ford and the uh, Chrysler in fuel economy in the 4.3 and 5.3 engines and those engine cat size category. The uh, 6.2 hasn't been released yet for stats, but I'm confident we're going to beat them too.
So enjoy the truck. Thanks. <laughs>